Hello and welcome to this Skrill programming tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about what a table is in Skrill. What is a table? A table is a collection of key value pairs. We create slots in tables with Skrill. Its data type is an associative container which is a data structure with a key value pair. A key is the name or index of an element. The value is what is assigned to the key or index key. One element contains two items per collection. Squirrel uses a new slot operator to create a slot. A key can be a string if you're not planning to use an index. The only exception is you cannot assign a value to null. Why use a table? A table is like an array but is more syntax friendly. For example, storing information on players. So we have three players. We have their name and their team. So between three players, there's two variables. This means that there's six variables in the global scope. Is there a better way to manage this? Of course. Let's use two separate arrays. So now we have an array of strings and an array of integers. But now that means that we have two variables to care about compared to six. But we can do far better. And this is where tables come in. Now we have a table called players in game. We reference it in the for each loop which assigns these two values, the key and the value. And then we can reference that in the print command, which will follow the output here. We can delete a slot using the delete operator in Hammer. When we call it pre-delete, notice as we can print out the value that we want to delete. This comes handy, as you don't need to store it beforehand. But notice as after we delete it, that hammer doesn't handle this well. We've put this code inside a try catch block so that the hammer doesn't completely crash when this happens. Instead, I told Squirrel to print out a message instead. Notice the exception. You can use this in hammer to see why the code went wrong. This should be handy, but we don't need to do this for this tutorial as we already know why this error is caused. We can create slots after declaring a table. So before adding Joe to the table, notice as we have two entities, Steve and Bob. Then we print out how many is in this table. So before Joe joined the party, the length is two. So there's two people in the party. Then we do the new slot operator to assign Joe to this table. And after Joe joined the party, the length is free. So now there's three people in this party. Keys are always unique. Most associative containers have keys that are unique. This means that you can only have one instance of this key. Most programs crash or throws exceptions in these cases. For example, what would be the result of this duplicate key? Two or three? The answer, three. Let's find out why this happens. In Squirrel, if a duplicate key is found, the newest value is assigned to that key is overwritten. Test is added first the only instance in this table. So it's assigned the value of two, as you expect it to be. Since test is already in this table, Squirrel solves this issue by overriding the value. So two is now three. So that's why when you have a duplicate cable key, if you have a duplicate key in the table in Squirrel, it overrides it with the latest one. So for the next tutorial, we'll be learning about arrays.